It's fair to say that Kerbal Space Program 2 has had a very rough few months since it launched into early access back in February of this year. In fact, just a few weeks ago, I released a video discussing a player frustration regarding the very slow updates and the very slow pace of development. But the good news is that all of this may well just about to be changing. Intercept Games have announced their first major update for the game along their roadmap, and it's called For Science. And yes, this is the science update. Essentially, it's going to deliver a campaign for the game, which will allow players to make progress by exploring the star system and gathering science. Now, those of you familiar with the original game would be aware that there is a science mode in Kerbal Space Program 1. Indeed, it was a much-loved feature, and it's one of the things that people have been eagerly awaiting for for a long time now. The update then is set to arrive in December. Now, one of the things I suspect most people, or at least many people, are going to be extremely interested to hear is beyond the content itself, and that is Intercept Games have stated that the update will come with significant performance improvements. And this really is much needed, because obviously KSP2, as many of you will know, has had a lot of performance issues ever since day one. So looking forward to seeing how that goes. Hopefully that's as good as they're implying. Now, when the update arrives, you'll be presented with two options at the main screen. You'll have the sandbox option, which will open the version of KSP2 we have access to right now, more or less, and there will be a new mode called Exploration. Now, interestingly, this new mode is not going to be called Science. They've gone with the Exploration mode instead. And they say that the reason for this is because they're looking forwards towards where the uh, game is going to be going in the future days. And they want you to be able to carry on your campaigns that you start right now and carry them all the way through to having colonies, interstellar travel, as well as resource gathering. And that means that the science update is one step along the road of many towards the full integration of an exploration mode. So as to be expected, the new update will bring a whole bunch of parts for your ships, and this will allow you to connect and add science modules to the ships. All of these are going to have a physical consequence to them, meaning they will have both mass and shape, which will affect the performance and handling of your space vehicles. Okay, so right now there's very little information on what players are going to be able to explore and what they're going to gather science from. The obvious point here though is that it will be the various biomes around the star system as well as other aspects of space itself. And of course the ability to collect all this science data will be pretty useless without the ability to carry it home. And naturally that means transmitters. To help you along the way with all of this, there's going to be a new research inventory which will help you with the conditions that need to be met to claim as different science rewards. Elsewhere is the introduction of the tech tree. All of this forms a part of the research and development center, meaning that as you progress through science, you can unlock new categories in the tech tree, which of course in turn will allow you to constantly improve your vehicles. And research and development is not the only new area opening, Mission Control is also opening. From here, players will be able to collect various different missions that in part will allow players to, well, learn about building rockets as well as other aspects of the game. And hopefully Mission Control will also send you out on endeavours to discover that much wanted, much highly desired science. Finally then, there's another addition, and this is going to be heating and thermal. Now this one has been a long time coming. Uh, my impression was always that this would be available shortly after the release of Early Access, but that wasn't to be the case. But nonetheless, it is coming with the Four Science update. And that means that once again, atmospheres are going to play a significant part in the process of re-entry, as you're really going to need to take some care and pay extra attention. Beyond the uh, science update itself, Intercept Games have also said that rock uh, wobbly rockets have also seen some improvements. They've uh, fixed or made implemented an enhanced joint system. They've suggested this will dramatically reduce wobbliness of large vehicles, but for that, I think we'll really need to go going to uh, wait and see how it actually turns out. It seems this one has been fairly complicated for them to fix and overcome. At any rate, that's everything they've announced so far, although they say there are a few other things they haven't yet revealed that will also be in the update. It's great to see that progress is finally being made on Kerbal Space Program 2 and that this highly anticipated update is, well, on the way in December no less. Meanwhile, if you're interested in more space-related content, why not check out these videos on the screen right here? Do take a look.